Well, something's wrong with Frack this morning. Yeah, he's very lethargic, just laying there. He's not doing too hot. I don't know. I don't see any damage on him or injury. He won't eat. He didn't come to get the uh, turkey cold cuts that I give him every morning, both of them. And he's just... He's just not uh, very responsive, just sleeping and not moving around a lot. Although he had, did move to this bed over here and then back over here. So, I don't know what's up, but there's uh, something going on. Maybe something he ate or something he got into last night. He does seem to go exploring a lot. Let's all hope for the best. Frick, on the other hand, is all right. And she's kind of wondering what's going on, too. <clears throat> Although, she's very playful with me. And he's just, uh, I don't know, man. Damn, cats, I tell you, that's heartbreaking. Right, kiddo? I know, I know. I know. I know. Yeah, she's being overly aff affectionate this morning. She knows something's wrong, too. She keeps looking over there, and I don't know what happened. Damn, last night they were both in great shape, and... Alright, guys, I'm crossing my fingers here. I really can't go to the emergency clinic. I don't I don't know what the heck is going on. And anyway, all right. I'll catch you up if things get better or worse. All right, bye. Okay, as you can see, um things didn't improve with uh frack and uh, I did feel his tummy area and it seemed awful tight you know bloated and tight so I did take him to the uh, uh, vet uh, clinic the uh, emergency if you will type clinic um, and uh, they did x-rays um, they didn't find anything really bad except that the bladder was really really full really big um, and he was loaded up with poop and uh, you know it looked like he had some kind of grainy stuff up in his belly they showed me the x-ray um, I, I just couldn't let it go uh, you know it, it had to take him to go to a vet um, the doctor recommended that uh, they keep him there for the day to see if he'll go uh, pee you know if, if his bladder will relieve itself they gave him fluids um, even though he was slightly dehydrated and uh, so they're gonna keep him there because I don't have a letter box I have no place to put him in here to observe it and everything else it's, you know they do their thing outside in their sand pit area that they have but uh, you know they cover it up so quickly and everything that I'd have to sit out there all day long just to find out if he peed and uh, the way he was moving around um, you know he may not have gotten up to pee at all so anyway um, the ride to the vet to the clinic uh, did kind of uh, wake him up you know he, he kind of uh, got with it a little bit more uh, he was purring he was kneading you know doing that thing um, so uh, you know they didn't seem to think it was life-threatening except for the uh, bladder beating that full if he had an obstruction or uh, something like that so uh, between the x-rays uh, the fluids the uh, 
visit the, you know, uh, whatever, and then uh, keeping him there today, which means he's being hospitalized, um, and then to see if he'll pee, and if he doesn't, then they're going to catheterize him, and uh, I guess remove the blockage if there is one or whatever. So, uh, anyway, uh, I won't have any news until about 4.35 o'clock tonight, and by that time I will be, you know, shutting the internet down, well, I'll be shutting it down around 2 or 3, um, and I won't have time to make a video afterwards. So, um, basically, this is the update for today. Uh, looking like, uh, yeah, we're, we're right around $500. Uh, plus, if they need to remove a blockage or, you know, catheterize them. Uh, so, anyway, I think we've uh, more than uh, deleted our funds that we had on the Give, Send, Go. And uh, not a big deal. I mean, I'll put it on a credit card. But he had to get fixed up. You know, he's just too good of a cat. And even the girls at the uh, office said that he's like one of the best cats they've ever had in there. Um, you know, so I guess my uh, uh, socialization and kind of training uh, works out for everybody. It worked out for Ripley, you know, and it uh, seems to work out for the uh, kittens, too. So I'm happy about all that, but uh, whatever it is, they're going to get it fixed up, and uh, hopefully it isn't something that he ate. You know, it might just, who knows, it might just be an infection or, you know, they put him on antibiotics. I have no clue yet, but uh, I couldn't let him continue on the way it was this morning. So uh, that's the update for today. Uh, I'll make a video tomorrow uh, telling you the outcome and whatever. And uh, until then, take care, and uh, we'll uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Then, okay, bye.